Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Eli at Kingsbridge Performance and 4x4 here in North Yorkshire. Look at this stunning machine we have available in our showroom, ready for delivery. It's a delivery mileage Lamborghini Urus, uh, September 21, so it's a 71 plate. Uh, so it's only um, a month old, okay? Uh, under 300 miles, it is a phenomenal machine. Now this one, is a very very big specification in the best color it's actually um gloss black but this one when it was brand new was taken straight from the dealer uh to topaz detailing uh, in london who were very well renowned for their detailing and uh, wrapping and they put on a full satin ppf so it's the whole car's covered in paint protection film to protect the paintwork uh, but all done in satin so it makes the paintwork look uh, it gives it that satin look and it looks absolutely fantastic this thing just turns head heads everywhere it goes um well the car itself was then uh, purchased by ourselves uh, and um it's only got like i say the delivery mileage getting up here to to yorkshire so the car itself is very very nice in terms of the spec because um some of the the main features you always must have on a Urus um, just for resaleability and, and just for looks. Uh, first of all, the 23 inch wheels, which this has, the panoramic sliding uh, sunroof, and also ideally you want the uh, B&O uh, sound system, the 3D sound system this has that pops up out the dash as well. And uh, this has got all of those plus a whole lot more. Um, so let's talk about some of the options on the outside first of all. So you've got the, I've listed everything down on our, uh, on our marketing bump, but um, I'll run through some of it on this video. So first of all, you've got the satin black tailpipes with the perforated centers, um, which look very menacing and very cool. Then you've got the gloss black styling package, uh, which works so well with the, uh, with the satin PPF. So all this finished in gloss black here, uh, for example, and then here again in the in the rear diffuser is all part of that gloss black styling package, which um, you can actually get in all the Lamborghinis. Uh, uh, I've sold many a uh, Huracan, a Reventador with gloss black styling package, and it, um, it just gets all rid of all the black plastic and gets it finished in uh, in gloss black. So again, you've got the same round the wing mirrors, the, the window surrounds. You've got the, the uh, vents in the wings, again in gloss black with the Italian flag logo. And then moving on to the front, you then get the, all the front bumper inserts done in gloss black, including the front splitter and the plastic section in the middle there uh, is then in all gloss black as well which again, with the, with the satin black, it just works so well as a color combination and it gives it the accents in all the right places. Uh, another option this has got is the carbon ceramics with the red painted brake calipers. They're absolutely enormous, as you can imagine for a car of this ilk. Um, so the car's got 650 brake horsepower, so you 16, 3.6 seconds and a top speed just shy of 200 miles an hour. It's a very, very quick car and it sounds absolutely phenomenal, uh, especially when you put it in full on Corsa mode uh, where the valves open up and the tone just changes. You can see there the, the vents in the rear wing as well. Looks absolutely fantastic, this machine. I think the Eurus has just got to be the ultimate 4x4 that you can buy today uh, as opposed to a Cullinan or a G-Wagon. Uh, I think it just stands head and shoulders about just above everything else. Um, the Aston Martin 4x4 though, nice, it to me is not a, uh, a patch on this. This is the one to have most definitely. It just screams Lamborghini, doesn't it? Every which way you look at it. Now this one's got the, a really, really nice interior. It's got the two-tone 
Alcantara interior with the red inserts. It's, it's a black interior, but with red inserts, we just brighten it up and suit the fact that it's a Lamborghini perfectly all the way down to the ground. Obviously, everything original that came with this car we've got. So we've got all the, uh, we've got, of course, two keys. We've got the, um, the, the code tag. Uh, everything's there as it should be. And then also, if we look in the boot, we've got everything that came with the car. Um, so nothing's been touched here. You know, everything, including the covers, the um, cleaning kit, the rubber mats. It's all here exactly as it should be. We've not touched anything. So all the accessories are there. You've got the air suspension raised and lower. You've got this fantastic Alcantara parcel shelf with a contrast red stitching. Um, all the interior options on this alone just to get this uh, colorway uh, just to get these uh, this Alcantara and leather with a contrast stitching or something in the region of about seven eight thousand uh, pounds in options possibly more was it more like ten can't remember all of it off the top of my head but it was a significant amount of money the car's obviously keyless so keyless entry exit and start you've got the Lamborghini backlit entry sill plates here now this sound system is a six thousand pound option so this is the full Bang & Olufsen um 3d surround sound system and it sounds absolutely amazing i'm not kidding you it's one of the best i've ever heard black leather red stitching then you've got the uh, alcantara in gray and then you've got the red it's phenomenal really really nice and you've got the gloss black and then the brushed aluminium the the materials are just phenomenal really really a pleasure to to, to to feel and to and to touch so all the seats there you've got the lovely basketball weave in red alcantara and then you've got the the red stitching on the on the black leather and of course you've got the embroidery in the headrests and then of course you've got the mats which are matching again with the red uh, binding to the edges you've got heated seats front and rear of course uh, rear climate control which lights up, USB sockets, etc. All the headlining in Alcantara. Got the reading lights there. And then over here we've got the uh, cup holders. And again, finished Alcantara behind it. Nothing's been left in plastic. Everything's done with a really nice quality finish the center armrest in, in red alcantara and of course the cockpit looks and feels fantastic we'll just move round to the near side again much the same of course you've got this lovely frameless glass on the doors to go with that sort of coupe rakish style appearance of the car rather than a frame door looks fantastic you can see that on, on all the doors but then if you look at the glass you can see it's actually double glazed and laminated can you see that so you can see inside the glass there i don't know if you can see that line there where the lamination is between the two uh, windows so it's very very tough hence why it's nice and quiet inside the car so again you've also got the puddle lights here or projection lights from the wing mirrors and again at the front here you've got these electric memory heated seats uh, with uh, the memory buttons there you've got ambient lighting all around the car which you can configure and these seats are absolutely a joy to sit in all the red stitching and embroidery just really brightens up the cockpit and it looks fantastic and then again it's mirrored all over the dash with the leather on the dash with the red stitching the gloss black the etched aluminium and then the Lamborghini branding there even the handle for the glove box again all the, everything's here as it should be from new even the handle of the glove box is finished lovely in uh, a metallic finish you've got ambient lighting underneath the center tunnel as well as two 12 volt sockets and you've got this extra padding here for the knees lovely frameless rear view mirror 
and uh, I think that's it on this side let's go around to the other side the driver's side the cockpit all all designed to be very much like a, uh, a fighter jet that was the inspiration so in the driver's side of course much the same um, and you've got that lovely finish on the pedals as well you've got the set the memory settings for the seat you've got the heated um, and folding wing mirrors the even the knobs finish in lovely gloss black with a knurled finish here so all the quality finish to the switch gear makes it feel very special the steering wheel with a Lamborghini flag and then this bespoke stitching or custom stitching option on the steering wheel that was another option the steering wheels heated that's another option you've got these big flappy paddles here the silver 12 o'clock marker now, and this screen you can actually draw on do you know when you're entering things into the sat nav you can actually just draw up right the word here and it inputs it into the into the media it's very clever you can see there the the b and o tweeter so they pop out when you start the car so to start it's literally a case of flick up the uh protector cover and put on the brake and you can see the b and o's then rise out What a weapon, what a machine. So, you've got the B&O, you've got the additional tweeters there in the A-pillars. There's just speakers everywhere. The sound quality is phenomenal. Again, there in the center of the dash. And then of course, we've also got the head-up display option on this car, which currently, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can see uh, the speed limit display as well as your current speed projected number of other items can be projected as well if we look down here this car's also got the camera mode so for example let's just turn that off so you can so all the controls like this touch haptic feedback uh, screen but you can press the camera mode this one's got the 360 surround view cameras so that's got it there and you can adjust the, the picture you've also got the self parking feature so if you want the car to to park itself take itself into or out of a space it can do that you just simply select the indicator and it'll know which uh, which way you're going another great option to have for a big car like this and you've also got the shortcut button there you've also got the Lamborghini protect or driver assist so you can set that to maximum individual um, so for example if you went to individual you could then select how much you wanted the car to interfere with various different things. So for example, um, let's say the exit warning system, uh, if you wanted to take that off, um, the precognitions, this is all designed to stop you having a bump essentially. And it works very, very well having experienced it in a number of different um, Volkswagen Audi Group cars. It's a very good system and works very well but essentially it will protect you in the event you miss something or you, or you don't see it um, at the moment it's on maximum I'd probably advise that you just leave it on that to be fair uh, the rest of the, th the buttons here is your handbrake and um, your automatic um, stop start sorry not stop start um, hill holders the automatic handbrake hill hold assist there we go uh, you've got the tracker system now the tracker system alone that was like 1250 pounds you've got the two tracker fobs there you've got the wireless remote control and then various media ports here now in here you can see I don't know if you can just about see there you've got the adaptive cruise control so you've got cruise control and lane assist you can see they just press this button at the end of the stalk and the lane assist icon comes up on the dash uh, there on the digital dash um, but yeah most of the controls are all focused here uh, reverse is literally a case of pulling this up uh, park and then you can select from drive to manual mode if you want to go to manual um, and then you can see it light up on the dash there let's just 
there you go drive just have to put my foot on the brake and pull the, the selector but uh, yeah we'll put it back in park for now um, stop starts kicked in and it's just quieting down but you've also then got the Strada Sport Corsa of course the car will now start up straight away out of stop start because I've put it in race mode so the Corsa mode everything changes on here you can hear the exhaust note change it pops it cracks it makes a hell of a noise you won't hear it as much in the cabin of course it's so well insulated then you've also got sand you've also got and again that changes the display you've also got then uh, Terra which is your sort of rock climbing mode if you like and Neve which if I'm not mistaken I think is a snow and ice mode I could be wrong um, but there you go those are your different modes there here you've got things like your heated seats um, heated steering wheel etc is all it's all on here uh, and again very easy to very easy to use uh, what else you can select that button there and go to various options for example if you wanted to sync the climate control or you want to change the rear climate you can do that from uh, the button here click that off for now uh, and then of course you've got loads of other th options so for example you can turn on off the screen um, you can uh, adjust what's shown in the head-up display including the brightness um, and then you've got some other buttons here I mean literally uh, that's just a, a shortcut to your home address for the sat nav uh, hill descent control the auto parking we already discussed your stop starts actually there but yeah it's it's crazy the, the whole system is very clever just the way it's so nice and easy it's essentially it's a screen but you get when you press it you get the feel of actually it's not actually a button but it feels like you are touching a button every time you press it it's very clever uh, obviously you've got the uh, window heaters etc uh, everything's there exactly as it should be now going on to the main screen you've got your navigation telephone you've got your media phone apps I mean literally everything that you could potentially want is on here and then you've also got things like um, things that you can mess about with so for example you can see when the next service is you can mess about with the the lights so if you wanted to go to the interior lighting uh, you could adjust the brightness you could also adjust the color so for example at the moment we could put it on green we can put it on red we'll put it on red to match the interior um, and you can also change it to a custom uh, a custom one if you want um, so you can have a play with everything on there uh, you can adjust the suspension strata sport again all that you can raise or lower it. it's got air suspension the car um, and then you could you know shortcut to the seats if you wanted to um, driver assist which I've already shown you but again another shortcut to that but yeah everything's on there and then of course you've got these buttons down the side so for example you go straight to your music menu your phone menu uh, your navigation etc so the navigation is very clever if you want to uh, input something you literally just input it on here so you could put um, Hara gate uh, H A R. There you go. O D A T E. How clever is that? And that's with my very rough handwriting just there. Um, the car recognises it. It's very, very clever stuff. Really like it, and it's so easy to use. Um, but yeah, that's a very cool feature that I think works really, really well. You've got the speed limit display there as well as in the head-up display. You've got all your reading lights and your controls for the panoramic roof. You can see there the red lights in the ambient lighting um, that we've just turned to red in the cup holders. Of course, the lights are automatic. You've got the auto light button there. But yeah, let's put it in Corsa. Have a listen. when you put your foot down it sounds absolutely phenomenal <laughs> of 
and on that note i will bid you farewell folks so thank you very much for watching the video of our lamborghini urus um if you would like to discuss this car with me personally by all means drop us an email text or phone call i'll be more than happy to run through uh, any questions you may have we do offer worldwide delivery on an enclosed trailer to wherever you want the car to go and we offer fantastic specialist finance packages so you can finance the car at a method to suit you whether that be an interest only option or a lease purchase or, or a deferred balloon hp we can certainly accommodate your request uh, just simply get in touch and we'll be more than happy to put something together for you um, please subscribe to our youtube channel to keep up to date with all our latest stock and we look forward to seeing you on the very next video. You have a good night.